Yes, this is Y254, and this is why in the morning it is interesting that you are here with us. And uh, we promised you we are here for the conversation of the day. Conversation of the day being what men look for in, a in women, what men look for in, our, in soulmates. And uh, my name is Senior Comrade Oguda Bradley Sankara Kayesu. Or you can summarize it at Sankara Kayesu. It's at San Sankara Kayesu in our social media platform. And uh, we are live from Broadcasting House Nairobi. So you're welcome, you're right in time. You are going to tell us through our Facebook pages, that is the way we are going to converse with you. You're going to tell us, you're going to comment and tell us what you think men look for in soulmates. And with me to help demystify this are uh, two interesting people and we are starting with the lady. We, it's lady and gentleman and lady is Natalie. Natalie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your other name? Uh, my name my name is Natalie Kakai. Natalie Kakai. Yes. Everything about you, what do you do, your social media platform and everything? Um, I'm a journalist in training. Mm -hmm. I go to Maseno University. Uh, my social handles are I am at at I am Nat Kakai. Oh. Yes. In every social media platform. Yes. Nat Kakai. Yes. Which level are you now? Which class? Oh, how do I say? Which year are you? I'm in third year. Oh, um, third year. Yeah. You're almost there. Almost there. Salute. I said something in the morning about Maseno. I'll tell it to you again. And we have a gentleman in a, in a, a colored tie. Uh, I told you the first time we met that you resemble somebody. Do you remember? Tell us everything, everything about you. Uh, I go by the name Muchi Samuel Muchi, aka Mr. El Muchi, I'm a simply Muchi Muchi, uh, producer, director, businessman, entrepreneur, uh, the ladies man, but most important of all, the son of the most time and the blessings quacky. How, how do you, why do you call yourself ladies man? Uh, the ladies love me and I love them too, so <laughs> it's, it's a mutual relationship. How do you know that ladies <laughs> love you? Love so let's go and be actions too. Oh, they act in a manner uh, to show that they, they love, love you. Hugs kidogo pale, kupikiwa kidogo pale. And in fact, that brings us to the topic of the day. Let us start with you. Yeah. Oh, what do you do? You in turn also love those ladies so so much. What do you so. love about them? What informs what you choose who to love and who not to love? Uh, For you, give me your top five list. My top five. Mm. Uh, for me, number one. Uh, as a self-sufficient woman, by that I mean, Mona uh, is a You can do one, two, three for yourself. You know what you want in life, and uh, there is the aspect of uh, understanding that in growth and in doing what you're doing, you need each other with somebody else. Number two, hey, look, let's make a safi. Pamba safi, ukom safi, unanukia, nikikuona, tuna na fry. Number three, the face. Eh, nikiamka asubuhi uko kando yangu na daitu kwambia Mungu thank you Lord baraka tu yani manze <laughs> hata na ringa tu yani mbele ya mbogi na wapi wapi number 4 the love for God yote ni nafaka kwa number 1 with the like <laughs> lazima upende Mungu tu vile mipi mimi napenda Mungu tu yani juu sio kwa uwezo wetu ni kwa uwezo wake number 5 number 5 uh, ambitious like poverty is not our portion so ako na vision dreams na goals ya kuomoka na to know a way of how to do it Mm. Kabisa. Did you realize that your number two and number three are all about looks? Uh, there was attractiveness, the beauty, usafi. Yeah. usafi. They are all about physical being. Very, very true. So it's like you are too much in this, in uh, this look. I need to go quickly. Yeah. I love, I, I mean, I'm into a soft life, man. I love it nice. I love it set. To ya nina. It's a turn off for me ni kikuja kwa kona unanuka. Jumi ni meji take time asubuhi ni meoga, ni meji paka pamba, nini nini alafu, wewe kama msupa. Unafanya Kuna... hizo zote and you're a man? Kabisa. I thought <laughs> men are not supposed to be... <laughs> men, <laughs> man anafakuoga once a week or twice a week. Ah, you know. kwanza... Una waka kila siku kila na jiku. Kila siku. Mbugi yangu wadi unita msupa manze juwa TV le napenda maji all over the place. <laughs> 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 Okay, that is interesting. So let us come back to Natalia. Natalia, you've heard what Muti is saying, what she likes about men and uh, about, about women. About women. <laughs> <laughs> about women. You're very particular. Very particular. You're heterosexual. You are not. Um, you are not that other side. And very homophobic. <laughs> very very homophobic. What do you think? What do you think about all 
Muji thinks about women and their attraction mm. on and your perception of what men like about women? Uh, it's actually very reasonable and realistic. Mm -hmm. Quite like Zenya Mesema. Mm. Some people they have very unrealistic expectations. They want a career woman who's earning a lot. You know, career women ni watu wako job. Mm. Like, they are busy people. Mm. Alafu at the same time, wanitika afanya kila kitu. Wanitema, oh, atuezi, atuezi kwa na house help. Bibi atafanya kila kitu. And this is a career woman. Mm. So I think for what he said, it's very reasonable and realistic. Uh, nice. He's so talking great. about, what was his number one demand as your number one? Uh, my number one was understanding. Understanding. Yeah. Do you think ladies score here in understanding? Pardon? Do you think ladies score in understanding? Are ladies un understanding enough so that they meet the expectation of men in the understanding? Can you understand me when I'm, I mean, uh, I can't afford something and then you really want it? Or well, that can make you leave me? <laughs> Yeah, women can be understanding. Ina depend na vile na kupenda. <laughs> you know, sa zingine dema dema da history ako na anachafuta opportunity ya kubreak up. So una thania you can understanding but in real sense so when the opportunity <laughs> sometimes hey. you make demands because you want unataka kujikata so you're hey. looking for a reason. Hey. But, but that's so unfair na tell you. What do you aje. think? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Yeah. That is so unfair. I also think uh, we, with women, it depends on them too. Mm. There are some who are understanding and mm. there are some who are not understanding. Me too, William Tuako. Okay, Muchi, I'll come back to you. I'm, I'm coming to you next. I want to read for you a vacancy that I put up. I know you saw it. It <laughs> belong to the same group. There's somebody who advertised for a vacancy. Uh, that he wants, finally wants to marry. So these are the qualifications he wrote. I, I, I want to read everything. Like, I have finally decided I'm going to get married. Applications with the following requirements should apply. One, should have natural air. Two, no makeups. Three, satisfactory income source. Backed, backed by a bank statement. Four, a great cook with experience yeah, of at least five years. Five, no tattoos. Six, should be black without any trace of bleaching or chocolate in complexion. Seven, able to sustain an intellectual conversation as well as awesome sense of humor. Eight, attach a written recommendations from at least two former boyfriends. And then nine, extent, e extensive knowledge in public relations. Ten, fluent in at least one local language, that is vernacular. Then uh, uh, Kiswahili, Sanifu, and English language. Then uh, 11, well trained in home management and hospitality. 12, must have a great character of a wife material. 13, what? no previous record of relationship cheating. And you remember you have to attach two boyfriends records there. Then uh, recommendation letters from former boyfriends. Then number 13, uh, or, or number 13, no previous record in relation to cheating that I've said. Demonstrate a, 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 a ability to make man a man successful. <laughs> number 15, must not practice laiquinism. Uh, number 16, must be slim, Coca-Cola bottle shaped, and tall and averagely, averagely tall, chubby, and not shapelessly fat. Number 17, hey. I'm almost through. Uh, I think that is the last. Must be a career of God's presence, and then lastly, must possess angelic voice. Oh, mm. So he said, he said, those who are the end of qualifications, all applicants must be adv uh, are advised to send the applications before the end of uh, August, that is by August 28, 2021, attach the following, birth certificate, health certificate, <laughs> passport photo with a white background. You know, this is real, it was true. 
all educational certificate and uh, only selected candidates will be contacted. NB, this is an equal marriage opportunity, no corruption, any faking will lead to automatic disqualification. Good luck for more in qualifications, inbox me. So he posted it somewhere and we wanted people to inbox him. You are, you, you, your, opinion, your opinion on this application? Uh, first of all, I feel everybody has a right to make a list of what he or she wants in his life. But there is the aspect of we treat ma marriage and love like a job. Yes, your job. Ini mapenzi. Royako, ayamuangi ni nani unapenda. Uh, alafu, ukiamua msemoni unapenda. So, ukiamua, like, royako, ukiamua ni nani utapenda. Unanga option, junapataka, like, unataka tu kukana yeye. Unajaribu kumpigia simu kila time, kufanya one, two, three. So, unazapati, you have all this list of things. Mm. But the person who is truly meant for you, mm. hafanyi shuguli yote, like, kwa hivu vitu zote nyo list. So, yes, it's good, but utateseka sana ju... What do you think there is one woman with all these qualifications? One, with all. Do you think she exists? I'm open-minded to say there uh, is a possibility and exist, but the possibility of now you finding her is now the challenge. Because I know you But as we are 7 billion people in this world. So So Kenya, Kanairo, Metulia, so the link-up is the challenge. Now there, are, there are people who are professional linkers. With, their job is to link, link people. Uh, to link people. Do you think they should come in in, in such a case? Do you, do you even approve of their job? Uh, for sure, because I had a lot of people who were patana na their marriage is successful through that. Mm. But bado kuna wasi wame patana the marriage is unsuccessful. <laughs> so, lazima tu elewe, kuna aspect ya character. Mm. Character way badili. Character is who you are when you are alone and uh, what you do on an individual basis. So, your character and my character must be able to match. Leave alone the list, leave alone everything. Am I able to accommodate who you are as a person? Ju, nikiamua kukupenda, na kupenda nikichukua your flaws and your good. So, thank you. Niki, yes. Kabisa. Muchi, Muchi uh, thank you for being honest and being plain. You've told us you are. You're coming to Natalie. Natalie, do you think this woman exists? And if it exists, if you think she's you, just <laughs> be frank and tell us that woman exists and that thinks she's me. Tell us. Okay, uh, I'm sure that woman exists. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in being that qualified woman. for that. Mm -hmm. I think there are some things which he said that are, it's not black and white. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't have a definite definition. Mm -hmm. Maybe anamanisha kutengeneza nails. Alafu, for someone else, slay queen is in me, until Anna hung out in our baba, like mm. my sponsor and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yeah, it's, it's relative. Alafu, I don't mind someone having a list, but if you're having a list, are you okay with me also having a list? Oh. Like, Eh, ju, it's a na, thing. Yeah, it's because I'm sure it's an equal, it's an equal marriage. Right? Yeah, equal marriage opportunity. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, akikuja na list yake ana demand so and so and so this and this in you. I also want to be able to have my list and demand this and this from you. But the way such a woman should also choose a man who should marry her because she has a lot she has just a lot it is not easy to have good figure good brain good uh, <laughs> good everything good <laughs> voice good and then somebody puts application and maybe this person is a person who doesn't have these qualifications and uh, you want to get such a, a virtuous woman have you read uh, uh, it's called which Bible verse? Which Bible verse talks about a virtuous woman? Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Yeah, Proverbs 31. Uh, so do we, can, do we think we should use Proverbs 31 as a parameter? Men should use Proverbs 31, we start with you, as a parameter for the person who should get married, they should get married to. It depends. 
do you walk it jangalia do you deserve a proverb thirty one woman? <laughs> yeah, because you can't you can't say you want a woman who's a prayer warrior ni 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 la unalo kilala kumtaro because ah. that's that you see but you know we ma characters we la mesa ma tu characters and the money me say zikwa ni mejeka ni meji keep vizuri I have good character and all that I love way to nakuja po and maybe awelewani na watu unapenda vita wewe ni mtafu huko like you un... can change me ah uh-uh, no thank you <laughs> <laughs> i'm not in that business <laughs> well that's another aspect here yeah, to yeah, add on that yes, yes, yeah. uh, aspect that you can change me there are a lot of men out here looking for the second mother yes in our oh, second uh, mother mm-hmm. so unataka mtu atakupikia mtu atakuoshea viombo mtu atakufanyia nini na in reality tuna end up kutumia wanawake vibaya kwa sababu ya we are not clear mimi nataka hii but na come in the name of this so deep down nahitaji 1 2 3 but na claim nahitaji this other side so that's a challenge which should also be addressed mm. there's somebody who should us band after breakup for compensation for washing for him for cooking for him for every homely duty that they did and the court awarded them a whopping 634 million dollars for all for all that so it's according to you it's like people are looking for different things in our life yeah. People some mm-hmm. people can be looking for workers home workers yeah. in the name of wives. wives true. Yes. Don't you think that is unfair much? Very very unfair. Yeah. Uh, very, very unfair <laughs> because in ma- for marriage to work it's a mutual relationship yeah. I want this from you and you want this from me. So kama pia mimi nataka mtu akufanye hiyo kazi I should be outright clear yeah before to one bibi yangu anafaa kwa kinifanyia 1 2 3 4. Ndio wewe kama bibi hauwezi fanya 1 2 3 4 we agree. Mm. You are not the woman for me. Let me go for someone else. But if I'm here for the marriage perspective, your relationship, building each other, being emotionally there for each other, being the mental inspiration you umsa kiamka asubuhi unampatia reason ya kwenda kusaka akienda kupiga asoli yake. Sio lazima atiafanywa. Kuna ma maid, kuna options za kumse kuja kuhaya ku clean up the house. So what do you really want at the end of it? That's the main question. And uh, I agree with him. Yes. Jo Okay. We can cook, women can cook, we can clean, but mm. also the guy should be able to do so. Unapata maybe the wife is heavily pregnant. Na maybe bado anaenda job. Mm. Wewe umekuwa kwa nyumba the whole day, anakuja home, viombo nchafu au japika ni. And ni ye already she's she's exhausted. Sasa tutaka kwa nyumba chafu juu. Wewe wezi clean. Awezi nirumia like nimechoka. You see and that brings me to the point of sacrifice. Mm. Kwa relationship lazima kuko na sacrifice. You see even in that list mm. so you can find maybe he finds that woman but kitu too much maybe moja mbili. Maybe when alikuwa alikuwa abadi eh aliaka tatu uh. and and then akafika point akasema eh aka change. Eh. Akafika changing point. But sasa tatu bado iko. Uh, but she's the perfect woman. <laughs> it has, you know, sacrifice between dog and dog okay. So you should not judge like by only physical. But you you brought up an interesting point of maybe helping uh, in the house. Mm. Uh, men African men are not used to that. <laughs> African toxic men, masculinity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you call that toxic masculinity? Truly. Yeah. You can do everything in the house, yeah. the house yeah. calls. Like I've been raised mainly by my mom and my mom kila mtu was equal in the house. So kama ni season washa viombo leo ni mimi napika. Kama ni yana pika ni mimi naosha viombo. Kama ni viombo kuna nyumba. There's this whole aspect of the responsibilities of the house. So aku to train akisema kuna kazi ya wanawake na kuna kazi ya wanaume. Kazi ni kazi na zote zinazofanywa. It is better good than say that said than done. Do you think you will do that to uh, your for wife? For me I feel uh, I'm at a position God at an elevate so lazima nifanye hiyo job. Nitakuwa na finances ya si ni cleaning inahitajika kufanywa. Eh. A cleaning lady ana come kufanya that. Oh, yeah. you will have so many workers oh, that eh. will handle everything. Like my wife kwanza aspect yake kwa pregnant eh. she needs to be taken care of the most. So anything that I can to ease of the burden ya yeye akiwa na the pregnancy I should undertake that and do that. So how do I achieve that? Kujua kuna kazi flani afai kufanya. So hizo kazi ni gani? 1 2 3 4. 
mimi nezafanya yes but I'm also occupied in other things na visions na nini so I delegate it to someone who can handle that I see that is but you know there's also always a starting point you ah, cannot but kama start, pia mimi ni maskini na sina hiyo doo si mind kosha viombo si mind kupika si mind ku massage miguu no it's different when it is your daily duty ah. and when you do it out of passion ah, maybe to help daily natalia says ah. that it should be your duty you know i'm cooking i should be cooking when african men think cooking is for women mm, and all true. that uh, we're talking about african men squeezy uh, with the west who affect culture too and all that and also just the growth and with stories that equality and all that you'll find that even african men squeezy the young ones they they are open to helping the house doing chores mm. eh, but kuna wengine tu bado ha but i'll go back to to bad point you <coughs> understand yeah mimi naweza kuwa nimeamua sitawai yosha viombo sitawai pika sitawai fanya 1 2 3 yeah. so the moment na approach msopo wangu before to one mimi yeah. namwambia mimi kuna kazi siezi fanya <laughs> na usi expect nifanye time marriage imeanza be clear be open with it ndio the moment imefika asianze ku create certain expectations which you can't fulfill uh, i know situation where somebody used to do such jobs yeah and to an extent that at yakika na mabeshte hivi Wife anatoka yeye anasema we bado umetujikalisha hapo na unajua akuja pikwa haioni kiburi sasa haioni kiburi na ifai love 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 it's an structure ya kuna respect yeah na ifanya juu upendo so kama ni juu upendo sifai kuja na arrogance ya we si beba kuna vyombo hapa utaosha ama nitaosha unaona okay back to to that was about the way back to what we are discussing today there's a small science here i want you to talk about for men that is on the the men's priority list of choice for men looks come on top looks men mostly selected that is on that research where 68000 people interviewed men mostly selected attractive bodies that is 70% and attractive face at 68% uh, the most important features of casual uh, partners Uh, they say nice eyes and all that so there are other things that came that is confidence confidence at 44% and uh, kindness at 40 38% at 36% came intelligence i want you to take you take on this research this is science now i want you to take on this research natalie uh, it's reasonable because the when When you see someone for the first time you don't see their intelligence until you interact with them so <clears throat> it makes sense that the first thing that they will look at is the looks oh yeah i'm not saying that yeah, you prioritize you. looks or anything like that but the first attraction when you see someone is how they look how they present themselves how they carry themselves that's why it will be at a higher percentage some people think natalie that looks and brains are inverse that if you have good looks <laughs> that if you have good looks you can't have good brains if you have good brains you don't have good looks simpata na wasupa wangu ndio na mko na wasupa gani yao eh any false that's a false notion nick to it's Stereotyping. it's a it's a it's a mentality that is built by movies Unaanga kwa movies the beautiful blonde is always down. Yes, painting uh, stupid. Uh, <laughs> so it's it's just a mentality and you may take these one movies. Yeah, but it is possible that somebody can be cute and at the same time brainy. Yeah. Yeah, and you are example here. You are the, the perfect example <laughs> in the best. <laughs> <laughs> to add on that also. I love Buchi umesema mambugi yake pia wako hivyo. <laughs> <laughs> like, like very intelligent women look safi but bado pia kikuangalia unashindwa mungu baba amekuwa wapi in my life so to add on what she was saying yes. there is the aspect of human nature and for us human nature is we are programmed to be biological beings by that i mean we are reproducing beings ya kitu ya kwanza si udu ni ku reproduce in this earth so in the aspect of reproduction when you're looking for a mate you're looking for someone who is healthy mtu mwenye anaweza provide security food na akue that 
praise person in your life. So kama ye mwenye aezi kuwa health like have ko physically fit to a certain extent vile wewe unataka it's a automatic turn off bila hata wewe mwenyewe kujua. Ndio maana unaweza pangiwa 100 men kwa room but utajipata uko attracted to one to unaweza jipata uko na 100 women but utaendea one to kwa sababu ya it's the physics first the physical part first, first and then vile tu amesema you get to know the person sasa. Muchi before you uh, we get off you there's uh, the other factors like uh, good at, good at organization adventure and then cooking and a clean house able to co- converse um, try new hobbies want friends is it uh, is it uh, is cooking a factor for you the ability uh, to cook? not it's not a must kwangu jumi kwangu like I mean like na day my show babi ngine crazy so kwa kichwa wangu na imagine kutakuwa na chef pale anacheza kama yeye so like why mistake wife wa kunifanyia job mimi nataka wife anipende anitunze anime ku feel like a king anipatie the feeling that i'm supposed to get from a woman but nikiteka wife now for a job ndio maana tunapata tuko so much unnecessary conflicts za vitu ndogo ati viombo vijiko sahani a a tuongelea mabilioni na makampuni Muchi, our time is much spent. <laughs> you, we want your final remarks on this. Uh, tell men on what they should have mm. in their priority list. Uh, ni hukuwe mjanja in this life. Desire one welewe, we are changing people. So in this world in the aspect of change, ujue kila siku we choose to feed something, either physically, mentally, ama spiritually. So whatever we decide to feed is whatever we are. So the person unachagua make sure umechagua mse ana feed the same thing pia una feed na ako na the same ambition na the same goals zenye pia unadai ku achieve. Ukiwa hivyo hata uachane na list ya maneno mengi character tu yenyu uta accommodate vitu mbaya which are the flaws na utapenda zile zenye ziko poa zaidi na zaidi mkijaribu ku grow from that. Na hakuna maisha perfect watu uchachishiana watu upendana na in the end of it kama unapenda mse uta stick to na at the end of it. People may think that you can make a very good ass band. Can really <laughs> make a very <laughs> good ass band no the way you are talking. No man, I'm Solomonic. Most, no, most <laughs> men are this way. When they talk, they talk a lot of sense, but when it come to practicality, is another thing. Another thing altogether. I have too give much us, love. Too give much us love. your your final remarks, uh, uh, Natalie. Uh ukiwa na expectations it's okay it's okay to have expectations but you should also be okay with a woman having expectations if you are having expectations and also sazingine expectations are what destroy a relationship so you should you should know and decide whether you're willing to sacrifice and like you should know whether you're willing to sacrifice your expectations sazingine kwa relationship or just the, let the relationship go nice uh, i had wisdom on set wisdom <laughs> had brains uh, somebody who said brains and looks are inversely proportional i've proved you otherwise because natalie is brainy here and very attractive muchi has also said that yes people were very brainy and att- 